A ball is thrown vertically upward. After t seconds, its height, h, in feet is given by the function h of t is equal to 80 times t minus 16t squared. After how long will it reach its maximum height? Notice that when t equals 0, the height is 0. So in some ways, the height here, if you had to draw a really, really rough sketch, here's t, and then here's the output called h of t, which is in feet, the height in feet. So it seems like it's doing something like this. And it's dotted down here, and it's dotted down here. We want to find the time. We want to find how long does it take to reach its maximum height. So if we take this vertex and we drop it down, we're trying to find this right here. We're trying to find some t value that lies on the t-axis. So make a note of that. We're really finding time. The way we're going to do this is actually by completing the square to find its vertex. Our goal is to get uh, h of t into this form, a times uh, t minus h quantity squared plus k. If we can get it in that form, uh, we're in good shape. Uh, we're in good shape. So instead of calling this t, why don't we call this h? Because that's what you're used to calling it. Let's find this h value, which is just the t value of the vertex, or the x value of the vertex. But in this case, x is t. All right, let's do that. h of t is equal to negative 16, and let's see what's left. We have a t squared uh, plus, uh, minus, minus 5 times t. Yeah. Let's go ahead and complete the square. So take that 5 divided by 2, you get 5 halves. Take that 5 divided by 2, you get 5 halves. Now square it. we get 25 fourths. Be careful here though. We need to balance the right side of this equation by adding zero. So if we really subtracted that amount, we really subtracted how much? We really subtracted 100. So we're gonna add 100 back right there. Now h of t is the correct function h of t is now equal to negative 16. We're going to factor t minus 5 halves quantity squared and then add 100. We'll go ahead and read the vertex. The vertex is 5 halves and then comma 100. We need to answer the question, how long will it take to reach its maximum height? So h is 5 halves. We have answered the question. Make sure you put the units, though. So why don't we answer this in a complete sentence? After uh, 2 and 1 half seconds, the ball reaches its maximum height. Now it turns out the maximum height here is 100 feet, but it doesn't say we need to mention that. So it just says we need to mention the two and a half seconds. And there's the final answer. Make sure you could show your work. Make sure you could show the process of completing the square. We want to attempt part B in a very similar fashion. This is a different ball in part B. 
A ball is thrown vertically upward. After t seconds, its height, h in feet, is given by this function. What is the maximum height that the ball will reach? Once again, we're going to go ahead and complete the square. h of t is equal to negative 16. And we have t squared. We need a positive 68. So why don't we try 68 over 16t? Put a parentheses. Ah, well, let's rewrite this to be a little bit simpler. h of t is equal to negative 16. We could reduce the fraction t squared minus 17 over 4. T. And once again, you leave a space to complete the square. Divide 17 over 4 by 2. We get 17 eighths. So to complete the square, we're going to take 17 squared here and 8 squared. And of course, 8 squared is 64. We need to balance this right-hand side by adding 0. Right now, we subtracted a lot. So we need to add back a certain amount to keep this balance. I'm going to add back how much? Add back... 17 squared over um, uh, 16 over 64, that's 1 fourth, so that's, that denominator is now 4. Awesome. Now it's balanced. Let's rewrite h of t. h of t is now equal to negative 16 times the quantity t minus 17 over 8 squared and then what's 17 squared hmm 17 squared that's 289 plus 289 divided by 4 hmm what is the maximum height that the ball will reach once again we're going to read the vertex the vertex is 17 over 8, comma, 289 over 4. Now we're going to extract the information from the vertex and answer the question. I am going to do 289 over 4 really quick. So that's 7, 72, and 1 fourth. All right. The maximum height of the ball will reach 72 and 1 quarter feet. Make sure you indicate the units. The best way to answer a word problem is to use words and units. So if you see a problem in sentences, then you would answer it, answer it in complete sentences. Or in this case, one sentence is enough. Make sure you remember to put the units.